one over. I can divide this over in three equal parts, leaving one little piece on top like this. One, two, three. This is zero. <laughs> this is the connection of the hair, so the hair will be here. This is the eyebrow level. Not the eye level, the eyebrow. And this is the bottom of the nose. Obviously, this is the chin. Over here, there is the nose. For now, you can do a triangle. This one is the eyebrow. It means that the eye are lower on this line. It's the eyeball line. Catch two vertical lines from the bottom of the nose, cause the corner of the eyes, the tear duct, are exactly on top of the nostril, the end of the nostril. Eyes are as big as the nose. From the corner of this bowl, you can sketch the eye. The iris is in the middle of this, and usually it fits no more than two times in the sphere. The pupil is always in the middle of the iris. In the corner of this eye, there is even the tear conduct. The sphere you did is supposed to be as big as the nose, the base of the nose. And the distance from one eye to the other one is supposed to be the same. I show you why we did the, the eye sphere. Over the nose, I do another triangle and I sketch the other eyebrow as well. Nastro, nastro. Don't connect never the bottom of the nose with the nostril like that. It is wrong, this one. It's correct to do this. If you do a line dividing the space you have from the bottom of the nose to the chin, if you do this line, the middle, this is not the middle of the mouth, but the bottom lip. And this is the thickness of the mouth. So the medium line of the mouth is here. Where the, la the, the mouth corner are. If you go straight down from the pupil with two lines, you find the corner of the mouth. Ear. The top of the ears are exactly like eyebrow and it arrives to the nose line. 